Now listen to me and listen to me good. Whenever we get in a situation and it begins to look tumultuous and it begins to be vigorous and it weighs heavy on us, what I have seen many Christians do is they retreat. They back up from God because things are going the way that they desire or the way they want. But I want to challenge you today that as all hell begins to break loose in your life, you have to draw near to God. I need y'all go in the chat and say, draw near. The Bible says, draw near to God and I will draw near to you. That's James. I think that's James chapter four, verse seven and eight. If we draw near to God, he in turn will draw near to us. And so you can't go through the trial without God, baby. You can't do it. You got to draw near to God to get the stamina and the strength to go through. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel like preaching. I feel like preaching. All right. So James chapter four. This ain't on my notes. Verse seven, it said, I'm sorry, verse eight, it says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your heart, ye double-minded. You cannot be double-minded and expecting God to come through for you. You can't be double-minded and think that God about to bless you. You can't be double-minded and think that the biblical principles of faith are going to work. It don't work for the double-minded. Because the Bible also goes on to say that a man that is double minded is unstable in all his ways. So you've been praying for a financial breakthrough, but you can't get one because you constantly worried about money. You don't believe that the God you pray to is well able to supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. The only thing we are supposed to be worried about is advancing the kingdom of God. He said, take no thought for what you're going to eat. Take no thought about tomorrow for tomorrow got enough evil of his own. And the Bible says we have not because we ask not and the things we're asking for, we're asking for a miss. If you are a kingdom citizen, an ambassador for God, he is responsible to take care of you.